What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. This is after the fact that I've already done what I did, and it didn't go as planned. It went horribly wrong. It literally chopped the tip of my finger off. I want to let everyone know watching this video right now, do not try this at home. I am literally putting my hand inside of an aquarium with a very aggressive species of fish that is a red belly piranha. Don't try this at home. I said it YouTube, you heard me. Without further ado though, enjoy this video. If you're not familiar with this backyard, I'm at my buddy Brenton's house. I'm gonna go in and see all his animals. Since I'm not home with my animals, at least I've got his. Hey everyone. <laughs> What's going on? Dude, muffin, you're getting huge. You're not so much of a muffin anymore. Hey buddy. You didn't like me last time, but you like me now. Look at that face, princess. Hi princess. Bobby, would you shut the And that's right. Hello, wifey. Hey. Talk about a nice spot. It's nice and cool in here, guys. I love that this is just in a residential neighborhood and there's just geese honking. Look, look, neighbor right there. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you guys all the animals, of course. We love our animals here at the PC channel. But you know what else we love? Fish. And today, I am actually going over to Walmart to get ready to put my hand inside of a tank with piranhas. I said it, I'm putting my Hey, why'd you bite me? Putting my hand inside of a tank with legit piranhas. These fish are known to be aggressive. Yes, people have literally been eaten by these things before. Typically, one piranha bites and then the whole pack just comes in to finish the job and they'll eat anything down to the literal bone. Jeremy Wade, River Monsters, you guys probably know that show, went into a pool full of these things with blood on him. And if you saw that episode, you've probably seen the outcome. I'm going to do something similar today, but with my hand inside of a tank. And uh, from there, I guess we'll just see what happens. But this is more of an experiment, not a typical video from myself, but I decided let's switch things up a little bit. Piranha versus human. We made it to outdoor. Outdoor. No, Paul. That's just the, it's, we made it to Walmart. This is a section of Walmart. Uh, Wally World. Fellas, in order to make this video happen, we have to get something. And that something is located here. At Wally World. This couldn't be anything. I mean, this is perfect as it gets actually right here. Oh, look what's in it. Ah. Those yours? Nah. Jaquan, catch. <laughs> oh, that was clean. This is, uh, this is actually what we need. I mean, you're literally putting them in a confined space. Yep. To Terrib bite my finger off. Terrible idea. <laughs> All right, so we have the tank. How many gallons is this? Not that it really matters. But 10 gallons. Just so people can get an understanding. 10 gallon tank. Dimensions are no one cares. And. So my hand will go in here, and all six piranhas will be in here. All six? Oh no, God. no, we can't, oh put, God. we can't put all six, but... I mean, we can. We can, but that would be... We can. Probably deadly. It, we, should, we might as well, honestly. We do need nets, though. That's one thing, is when transferring them from one thing to another, there's no way you're getting them in just one net. You're gonna have to have one net, and then a net under that net, so when they chew through that net, they fall into the other net. See, this is a process, huh? Yeah. Picture it. See that? Picture that. Piranha bites my hand off. Yeah. It's going right through within seconds, though. They really chew through the net that oh, fast. I'm telling you, there's no way we make it from the tank, like, to that tank without them going through it. This little like, thing? Prob uh, we might need a bigger one, I'm telling you. All we right. can get one from the fishing section. We get a net from the, like, a yes. small net from the fishing That's what we need right there. We need yeah. literally two of these. Two of them. What if they chew through? Both of them? Yeah. That's a good chance of that happening. Should we get three? Yeah, we should get three. <laughs> this is where we're gonna get the blood from. So, although we're buying a little bit of meat, there's like, what is it, liver in here? Yeah, look, sliced beef, beef liver. liver. There's literally liver in there. We'll squeeze out the blood, I'm gonna buy two of these, and then we're gonna put these in a cup, all the blood, and I can put that on my hand when I put it in. Because that's apparently what they react to. I learned this from Jeremy Wade on River Monsters. Yeah, good old Jeremy <laughs> Wade. Oh God. That's the goal. Got some blood. Got a tank, got nets, got everything we need to make probably the stupidest decision of my life. <laughs> uh, PSA, I actually, I did just move to the southern part of the Sahara Desert in Michigan, so <laughs> that's where these fish are located uh, for further information. And they're completely legal there too. <laughs> these things are so crazy looking, bro. That is nuts. They're in this beautiful tank right here. It is a nice tank. I love this structure. Um, but yeah, look at these beasts. Like, actually crazy. It's actually nuts to see how big they got, Brenton. Yeah, no, they, they grew a lot. Grown. Like, look at those. My goodness, I'm actually gonna stick my hand inside an aquarium with these things. We can, uh, we can get like something little, like a toothpick, and put it up to their teeth. You'll watch. Will they eat right now? Uh, will they eat right now? Yeah. You, th you think they'll eat? We can give it a shot. 
Well, uh, while we're detailing some shrimp to then try to feed the per you know what I'm saying? We have this beautiful 1,000 gallon aquarium that's built just like we had literally just built the saltwater tank. This is what we mocked up in a bigger version. And Brenton was obviously there to help us build our saltwater yeah, pond. Yeah, it should work. He had experience building this. This pond looks awesome. You got gouramis in here, some red tails back there, big old knife fish. What's that knife fish's name? That's Schmeet right there. That's Schmeet. We have a ripsaw catfish, which is one of my favorite fish. I don't talk about them much, but they are one of my favorites. We have a spotted gar, actually two of them. It's another one over there. Kelvin! Kelvin! He was at my house! All the way from Florida really and Spirit Airlines. He made him <laughs> through TSA. Brenton brought that fish through TSA in a, in a bin. And then, of course, I surprised Brenton with this albino arowana a while back. And it's obviously huge. Paulfin right there. Paulfin? Paulfin. That's Paulfin. Look at the size of Paulfin. Once you get your own place, you're gonna be able to upgrade and get something even bigger than this, and these fish will have a bigger home. Yeah, we'll take this thing with a forklift. We'll take it all the way to Florida. That'll be a good video. <laughs> Theoretically, if I take one of these out and I accidentally drop it in the water, how long will it last? Oh, uh, it shouldn't last very long. It's gone. Yeah, he gave it a one-two gluck. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, oh. oh! This right here is what we're gonna try and give to the piranhas really quick. Actually, I only wanna give them one, because we don't wanna yeah, fill them up. Saying. Yeah, we'll we only give them one. We want them to eat my hand. Exactly, all right, let's. I'm gonna go from down here. There's two chunks falling down right in front of me. Oh my gosh. Shmee! What up, Shmee? This is one beautiful tank. If you guys think I should surprise Brenton with a fish for it again. What? Like the video. Hit that like button. What you say? Nothing. You're, nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hit the like button. And the next step is to net one of these things out and bring it over to our tank. So I guess uh, I'll go first. Go, go ahead. Oh gosh. Oh, I got him. God. I got him. I got him. Oh! Piranha! Oh, oh, look at gosh, that. Look at they're that. so much bigger out of water. Dude, they're so much bigger out of water. Alright. Alright, ready? Yep. There you go. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, look at that piranha. He's biting the glass, dude. Oh yeah, look at those little teeth, bro. Yeah, second you pull that lip down, it's terrifying. Oh, oh. Look at him trying to bite it. I think this net's a little stronger than the ones you might have used before. Yes. Oh, he's, he's going through. He's going through. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Bit right through. <laughs> right through, bro. <laughs> he bit right through the it's net. A straight hole. All right. Oh my All right. god. I think I can get one like in the side and then I'm gonna try and get them right out into one of your nets. Oh or actually my. switch nets. That was crazy. Well, check it, check it. Oh, oh, stay, stay. Slowly, slow and steady. Slow and steady. Okay. All right, all right. He's making a hole in it. He's yeah. got a hole. He's, he's going hole. through. He's, he's going through. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All look right. at him, look at him, look at him. He bit a hole through. Oh my right gosh. Both oh, nets. They literally bite right through him. Both nets. So I'm completely. saying, if you get them mad, they'll start. <laughs> <laughs> Replay that real quick. <laughs> Both piranhas are inside the tank, and it's time, as Coyote Peterson would say, to enter the bite zone. No, it's not time yet. I gotta put blood on my hand first. Makes it even better. Yeah. Hey, don't forget, we gotta squeeze all that beef liver out. That's when I think we'll let them settle for like 30 minutes. So they're yeah. I was gonna say let's let them let's let them chill for a little. Yeah, right now they're trying to literally bite through the glass, so we'll let them <laughs> calm down. Oh my god! Give it a drain. Oh, oh oh oh! YouTube, this is beef liver. Beef liver, not human blood. It probably tastes great. It probably does taste pretty good, but there's a lot of juices to it, and we're using those juices. So we have uh, our. Studio. Home, studio. We have our studio. Homemade studio. <laughs> our two piranhas are right here in the tank. They've been sitting there for a little bit now as we set up our studio. We have obviously the beef nastiness right here. And uh, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. If you're going to put my hand. Hit, I would love for it to be great lighting. So. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, anytime. it. There you go. Take, take that camera, bud. Wish me luck. Might be the last time I ever handshake you with five fingers. It's all right. Mm. Nothing wrong with four. Saw that wasp? I did see that fly right through the screen. I'm gonna try without the beef first, and then if nothing happens, I'm gonna pour this in and maybe it'll trigger him. They just straight up attack my finger. I'm not even cutting the, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Look at his friend took a chunk out of the side of them. When they were babies, they actually bit the top of their heads off. Yeah, it's a thing. I thing. really don't think these things are as. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's the closest I've ever been to a piranha's mouth before in my entire life. Not something you want to play around with. Do not try this at home. Not that you have piranhas at your house, but <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look at how close he is to my finger. He's I he's I I am touching him. I am touching him. Oh. I think Yo. it's time. We add the beef. Throw it in. Oh my gosh. They just start going off on my finger. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> These things are not as mean as people say they are. Jeremy, wait, wait to pull these things. I don't even think Jeremy got bit, did he? No. I am now starting to trust these piranhas so much that I could almost show you them their teeth. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at those teeth. Look oh at those teeth, bro. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you those do are popular. not want to get inside of the mouth of that. Ow! Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my god, he, oh my gosh, he, he got you. He bit me. It literally chopped the tip of my finger off. My skin is in the water. Pull, pull, pull. Oh my gosh, blur the screen, blur the screen. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, dude. You were trying to show him their, your teeth, the oh. teeth, and it just, it just, bro, it literally, boom, off the tip of my finger. Like, didn't even. I'm, okay. I'm wait, 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 let me see that. No, it's oh, gone. It's gone. My God. I literally have no tip in my I'm not, finger. It's not, it's not a joke. Like, I'm not even kidding. I wish you could show that. I can't. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, my gosh. It's gone, dude. It's literally... Yo, what? That's a little chunk. Mom. Mom. Mom, I chopped oh. the tip of his finger off. Oh. Dude. You need some, like, um... Oh, my gosh. There's a literal hole in my finger. You literally oh. chopped a chunk of his finger off. Well, I'm you, so lucky he didn't get more of it. You were showing them the teeth, and all it did was no, 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 it. dude, that's bad. All that's it did really was bad. a little. Brenton, that's like Brenton, that's, that's I'm bad. I'm like dead serious. Almost want to turn the camera off. Type. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh! Oh my! <laughs> it's a literal. The tip of his finger is okay. gone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post a picture of this on my Instagram. Okay, that way people can see it. Cause you can't yeah. show it on YouTube without- Oh my gosh, it literally took a chunk of a your finger. A chunk of my finger. I'm like shaking bro, look at me. Yo, that's like a, an actual chunk of I did finger. not understand how, I didn't understand. Dude, I was trying to show his teeth. Well the thing is- And he just, just, boom, like off rip. I'm, I, I felt my finger just, boom, gone. Imagine 150 of those biting you. You're done. Oh, you're done. You're done. Yo, there's there's literally a chunk of your finger in there. I don't know if it's a piece of liver or my fingertip. No, that is absolutely your fingertip. <laughs> Can you oh. get it on camera? That's your fingertip right there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever filmed in my life. Again, seriously, this was a social experiment. I didn't actually think I was going to get bit. I got bit because I was playing stupid games, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I literally put my finger in front of a piranha's face. You saw the teeth. Not smart of me. But then again, I'm alive, just a little bite. I've gotten worse cuts on my feet before than this piranha just did to my finger. But I did get bit, and there is a literal hole in my finger. I can't believe we just did that. My fingertips uh, in the tank. I, st I can't believe that. I, I did not expect it to like nip like that. It, dude, it was so fast, boom! Well, you saw them kind of start reacting different once you poured that in there. That blood, bro, fired them up. That yep. blood fired them up. Wow, I need to get uh, peroxide in this thing. That's uh -huh. not gonna feel good. Nope. And I need to bandage this up ASAP. But first things first, the fish are more important than my finger. I can't believe I just said that, but let's get these guys back in the tank. Let's go. There you go. There they go, right back in. Back with their friends. They're friends. <sighs> I'm gonna FaceTime my mom real quick and told her what I just did. I put my finger in a piranha tank and it bit the tip of my finger off. You better not be telling the truth. No, I'm actually telling the truth. <laughs> I don't trust you anymore, but either A, you'll do something really stupid like that, which you would, or B, you're always teasing me. I am always messing with her. Mom, no, this time it's... It's actually true. It is kind of cool though. I could say if it does leave a little dent that I got bit by a piranha. That is true. Yeah! Mm. Love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you too. Where are you? Are I'm you in Texas. You know what we can show is when it's healed. 
Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll see you in a couple days when this is fully healed. It is completely healed. Look at that. It was super deep. If you look at my Instagram post, you saw it. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but there was still a hole in my finger. And now, since it's filled up and completely healed, it's been a week, and uh, my finger's good to go. I'm alive. I made it. And I'm currently in the Bahamas making more content for you guys. That you'll see coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and we'll see you right back here in the next one where we won't be getting our fingers bit off by Piranha. I promise that. <laughs> Peace. What is going on, Kafros? And good morning, well, probably good night for a lot of you. My camera's gonna die. Let me just get a new battery real quick. <laughs> Blooper.